We now appreciate that HER2 targeted therapy has significantly improved disease free and overall survival in the adjuvant curative setting. Um, we know that patients who are treated with trastuzumab who have HER2 positive breast cancer have outcomes similar to or better than patients with HER2 negative breast cancer. So this drug has literally altered the natural history of this disease. The question becomes, with this highly targeted therapy that has such profound benefits, um, what is the downside to using this drug? And the downside really is the risk of cardiac toxicity. Most of the studies have reported grade 3, 4 heart failure and cardiac death rates of no more than 4% with the use of trastuzumab-based therapy, but most of these studies were conducted using an anthracycline-based um, backbone, which augments that risk of heart failure. And also, most of these studies did not follow patients long term. They only followed patients for a year and a half or so after receiving therapy. So we don't know if the combination of trastuzumab and anthracyclines is actually um, causing long term cardiac event rates to go up in these patients. Um, there is there are a few non-anthracycline-based regimens that have been evaluated in the adjuvant setting. The docetaxel carboplatin trastuzumab regimen has been evaluated in a prospective randomized study, the BCIRG006 study. Um, it was, it, it, did, it does show significantly fewer uh, cardiac events and less cardiac toxicity than the anthracycline containing regimen. And the DFS and OS appear similar compared to the anthracycline based therapy, although it was not a non inferiority study, so it wasn't powered to compare the two trastuzumab containing arms. Um, Another regimen that's been evaluated is uh, the AP, uh, APT regimen, which is um, paclitaxel and trastuzumab in early stage breast cancer. Um, tumors that are three centimeters or less were um, enrolled in this study, and they showed excellent disease-free survival and overall survival, as well as safety in these lower risk patients um, who received a non-anthracycline-based regimen. Um, now the caveat is this was a single arm phase two trial, so there was no comparator. And then the other TCH regimen, docetaxel cyclophosphamide trastuzumab, has been evaluated in a, um, a phase two single arm clinical trial looking at patients who had stage one or two breast cancer, no more than three nodes involved. And again, four cycles of this regimen was associated with very high DFS and OS. So we have several options available um, that do not use an anthracycline in combination with trastuzumab. And the promise is that these regimens will um, be associated with less cardiac toxicity long-term for patients um, compared to the anthracycline-containing regimens.